Hi everyone, it's Michelle Barada and welcome to Bella Branch TV. Today's DIY is kind of a goofy one. I think it's so funny. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna make customized face pillows. Yes, face pillows. And you can do whatever you want. You can make a funny face, you can make it really goofy, it can make it really pretty, it doesn't really matter, but it's super, super funny. So you ready to get started? Well, come on. What you'll need for this project are scissors, fabric glue, a pen, iron-on fabric sheets, a fabric in any style or color, and batting or stuffing. Next, you're gonna take your favorite photo, and it could be goofy, it could be whatever, and you're gonna print it on an eight and a half by 11 fabric iron-on sheet. And after you have them printed out, you're going to cut it out in a shape of kind of like an egg and it doesn't have to be perfect. Now I made mine kind of like a little wobbly looking egg shape. It's really whatever you decide. And remember wherever you're cutting you're going to be losing about a half inch because that's a seam allowance. Next you're going to take your one of your photos and you're going to do photo side down against the right side of a fabric and you're going to trace around the template. After you're done tracing it, you're going to cut it out. Now you have your two pieces. You're going to do right side against right side and you're going to take your fabric glue and what you're going to do is you have to make sure you're going to leave a little opening about a couple inches because that's where you're going to put your batting. So now I'm going to take my fabric glue and I'm going to just run a bead along the side and I do a little at a time. And I just do that all the way around. And then I'm making sure that I'm going to leave a couple inch space so that I can get the batting back in. And then what I also do for while it's drying is I put a pin on the end right where that opening is that I left on both sides just to kind of keep it more secure when I turn it inside out. So after this is dry, I'd say a couple hours, I'm going to turn it inside out. Then I'm going to stuff it with the batting. Now when I have enough batting, I'm going to seal it shut with fabric glue. And I fold in about a half inch on both sides. And then I'm going to secure that with a pin. And that's just going to hold it while it dries. That is so funny looking. Well, that was fun. I hope you guys love today's really goofy DIY and I want to hear about it. I want to hear what you guys thought about this DIY. I mean, I think it is so funny and the funniest thing is that I took pillows and I stuck them in the refrigerator so when my son opened the fridge it freaked him out because his head was right there. <laughs> so I think they're super fun, super funny. So I hope you guys loved the project and be sure to tell me what you thought about it and give me a thumbs up and be sure to click the subscribe button for new videos I post every Saturday and Sunday. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. Bye.